Hey guys, it's Jeremiah. I'm here at Mao Maison Boutique by the Hourglass uh, at Knightsbridge here in the heart of the shopping belt uh, of Singapore at Orchard Road. I'm joined by uh, Maximilian Rolf from the Hourglass. He's the watch expert for independent watchmaking brands. And how are you doing today? Good, Jeremiah. Thank you for coming. Thank you for, for taking your time to explore this wonderful exhibition about Wovec. It's 25 years and every moment counts. So I'd love to take you on a small tour and, and uh, explore what we have to show. Okay, yeah. cool. So, so we're going to take a, a quick tour of the exhibition right now. So come have a look. Yeah. So over here we have uh, a nice immersive room. It's uh, the animation display of the latest launch this year, which is the uh, Odyssey UR112. So you can really see how the movement uh, is constructed and how it comes together. Wow, this is also nice. Pretty cool. I, th I think this is one of the most complicated mechanisms right. that uh, um, Uvec has developed. Yeah. And uh, it's uh, it's really cool now in the Odyssey. It's a full titanium case which is polished. And uh, yeah, it has a jump hour and you can see the second, uh, uh, the, the minutes yeah. running through the seconds on display, the top. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, with this really nice grill that opens up. Inspired by the by the Bugatti. Uh, oh, the bonnet. Car, oh, yeah. okay. So you can see the, right. yeah, you can really see the, the, the top grill on it. Yeah, it's a, it's a cool. great watch. Yeah. Yeah. So after this, we yeah we come through here. Yeah. Well, yeah, you were okay. telling me as well. It's not just very complex, but I think the retail price on this is yes 400k Singapore dollars. Yeah, right? about that. Yeah. <laughs> it's insane. Yeah. All right, so what do we have here? We have a, a awesome discovery wall here, which uh, has many key features to explore. Partly history about Urwerk at the Hourglass. We have uh, some interesting watches. So this is one of my favorite things over here. It's Come actually uh, the first uh, historical Urwerk display. In 1997, Felix and Martin, uh, they were considering what to display at Basel World. And they were telling us something hot and new is coming. Right. So it's this hot plate. <laughs> so you just imagine this at the Basel World Exhibition. Right. And right next to him is like Philippe de Four's uh, Magahoni case. Oh really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, so this is, this is really nice. No, this, is, this is like the real you know, beginnings of Urwerk, yeah, right? Yeah. They probably didn't have you know, such a fancy display. Yeah. To, to display so, the, so the beginnings of, of the Hourglass and, and Urwerk, you have some, some uh, archive pictures here, which I think are, are really nice here. The, the launch at our, our L'Atelier Boutique ah, I see. at Ion. Yeah, and then uh, the Iron Man is also has a has a strong meaning for, okay. for Uwe because of the ambassadors. I mean, you have uh, guys like uh, Robert, uh, Robert Downey, Downey Jr. Jr. Right. Yeah, from from Iron Man. Uh, I think. But there was someone else who was like a big over uh, yeah, collector Mike, right from Michael the start. Jordan. Michael Jordan. Yeah. Michael Jordan. Yeah, he's 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 a the long goat. time supporter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, these are some some real cool pieces. Uh, the the one one two aggregate yeah. is, is over here, right? Which we just yeah, saw, we saw in, in yeah. the room. And uh, uh, one of the, the cool things as well over yeah, here. Yeah, we should have a look at this drawer. Yeah, this is this uh, small little cabinet here. You actually have uh, the first wooden mock-ups of the Opus 5, which uh, uh, was launched by Harry Winston together yeah. with Felix. And even an unreleased project, which is the initial Time Bandit, mm. which uh, has never been seen before. Yeah, and Felix so. was explaining earlier that this came before the Opus 5, yeah, right? But correct. because this was too complicated for him to realize, yeah. And Max Buser, at, who was at the time managing director of Harry Winston, right? He said, you know, you have two more weeks to come up with a new concept. Yeah. <laughs> and amazingly, he came up with this. Yeah, it's yeah. incredible. So, so these are the, the. He actually wore this wooden case on his wrist just to define really? the case in a better way. Amazing. Yeah. So uh, yeah, that's 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 a pretty extensive uh, project over here. Right. 103 and white gold, I think, is is uh, uh, the biggest one, the biggest milestones yes. for Urvac. So you can also see over here the, the test on the CNC machines, how they actually ah. made the cases and also the, the historical uh, UR102 movement. Yeah. And these are, these are more the development of the cases, you know, which, which Martin has a, has a big role to play as well in the design of things. Right. So his inspiration really came from, from artists uh, like Duchamp. I mean, he has Stanley Kubrick. Uh, wow. uh, an Odyssey, uh, um, which is which is really the the part where space comes ah, in, right? And, and from the uh, film, yeah, from okay. the film, yeah. So this is a picture of of him actually as well. Uh, his first visit 
to a NASA ex exploration center. Right. Yeah, and then uh, you have That's some so cool. some watchmakers. Over I, I here. see someone very famous here as well, <laughs> Mr. Vianney yes, Halter. Mr. Vianney Halter, <laughs> you have Bernard Ledra, Vincent Calabrese, Antonio wow. Pizzoso, and Felix, of course, as yeah, well. Yeah, young <laughs> Felix. <laughs> yeah, Felix, yeah. He also looks looks good over there. So this is our little discovery cabinet. Right. Um, we also display yeah, we talk the, about that as well. the four uh, GPHG uh, awards um, that uh, Urvac uh, has been presented with. Um, so those are uh, the actual awards, which, wow. are, uh, which we can, can showcase yeah. over here. I believe for the EMC and the AMC, right? Yes, yeah. yes, correct. Yeah. So um, yeah, and you have, you have some cool pictures over here. Yeah, um, pictures one of, from uh, Felix's charcoal. Yeah, one of these, my favorite, you can see these, these uh, big wheels over here, right? So even at five years old, Felix was already polishing off uh, a, like a black patina yes. just to clean the wheels and make them work for uh, clock restoration. So you can see him really restoring clocks with his uh, with his grandfather and, and, and father as well. Right. Right? And, and young Martin already uh, uh, designing, sitting at his desk to, to really uh, uh, come up with concepts and, and, and develop his, his inspirations. Amazing. Yeah. So that's why if we, if we come along over okay. here, we, we have uh, uh, his uh, watchmaker's desk or design and watchmaker's desk some of the original tools and just now Felix was telling me uh, even about uh, this part which he created right. at uh, 17 years old. Really? He made this from scratch. Amazing. So there's technical drawings and so on of, of how uh, the hobnails are done. You even have a, a small uh, FB engraving wow. over here. And this is one of his, wow. his first uh, uh, tools. It's amazing. Yeah. Some, of, some of the sketches of the one or two um, which, which, are, which are really nice. Yes. Yeah and then uh, if we uh, come we on the, the opposite side, way. I think uh, this, these are some of the most uh, rare and, and significant Uvec watches. So we have a triple one uh, C inspired from the CC1 in white gold with a linear time display here in two executions, one in the gunmetal, one in the, the two-tone. So I think that's uh, uh, extraordinary to, to have them both yeah. showcased together. Two-tone being steel and a black PVD. Yeah? Yes, yeah. yes, correct. Um, and this uh, one is, uh, this one is related to, to you guys, yes, the hourglass. To the hourglass. So uh, it's actually in a bronze case and it's the UR105, um, which uh, only very, very few pieces were, were made. I think it's only three watches wow. that were ever wow. produced. Yeah. So uh, also 105 comes tantalum hull with the, with the open uh, 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 case, basically, and then for me, one of my personal favorites mm. definitely is the EMC. Yes. Yeah, the Stormtrooper uh, from, from Star Wars, right? right? But of course, really showing the Time Hunter uh, uh, EMC mechanism, right. where they won the GPHG and, right. and uh, measuring the accuracy and, and the amplitude of the, of the watch. Yeah, so even though the case design is still very avant-garde and very, you know, uh, indicative of Urwerk's design codes, but you can see the dial is, you know, it doesn't actually use the satellite system yep. it looks like a more traditional watch face correct in yeah, sense. Yeah. yeah so this belongs to Urvax chronometry uh, collection right right which is which is really for chronometric precision so that's why they've, they've kind of split it up but satellite is one of the key features of this course. year because we have the new launch of the UR120 mm. which is uh, also known as the Spock yes right? and it's over here I believe yeah it's, it's right over here it's, it's quite cool we have a quick animation there as okay. well of the of the Spock so you can see how the, the satellites will actually split and, and come apart, right? And um, it's, uh, it's an absolute new invention of how uh, um, these four carousels actually work together and uh, split the, the satellite disk and also come together in a super refined, uh, thin uh, case with an automatic movement. So that's really cool. Initially, it was inspired, of course, uh, from a watch which was launched um, yeah, about 10 years ago, mm. which is the 110. Yep. So we have a 110 here in, uh, in Tantalum. Uh, so you can really compare the case. You see the screws are different. It's, it's, it's definitely much thicker. And at the time, right. Urvex design uh, was a bit more bold and, and, and stronger. You know? Now, with the new launch of the 120, which is uh, one of the highlights, I would say, this year, uh, in, in this case, we actually have the watch that Felix brought over himself. Really? Just, okay. Just uh, yesterday morning in when he suitcase. came over. <laughs> yeah, so this is actually the watch he wears. Okay. Uh, um, and uh, yeah, that's the, that's the new launch of the uh, um, UR120. 
incredible. Yeah, and of course, you know, the, the satellite system splits to, to inspired by the Vulcan salute, you know, yes. from Star Trek. Yeah, yeah. It's really cool. And, and if you look at the case itself, I mean, Martin has really done a, a great job uh, in, in redefining it, but it still has the key features. You can see on the 110, you know, with the crown guard, the, 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 the display on the, the minute display on the, on the, on the right hand side, yeah. So if we, if we move on from uh, the, the highlight of uh, okay. this year's novelty, we can come into the uh, historic room pieces. Yes. Yeah. So for, for me, I think the, it's quite cool actually. I didn't notice this at the beginning. Oh really? This is a two and a five. Yes. This has been 25 yeah, exactly. years. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So, so that's really cool. I think we should start there because I see a 102 yes. Sputnik. Yeah, right? correct. So it's this is the, the beginnings of the 102 of Sputnik. This is actually the prototype. Wow. So um, also quite an interesting story. This, this is the prototype. So from the 102 Sputnik, the founders at the time, there were three versions made with the number one. Okay. Yeah. So the, the one piece that Felix is wearing has a, has a silver dial, right? It's number one. Yes. Then Martin has the, the black uh, uh, interface where you can see the, 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 the hour um, move. Yes. And then there's one more blue because at the time it was Felix's brother, Thomas Baumgartner, ah, who was also wearing a, a one see. or two. Yeah. So I these see. were presented on the, on the hot plate at the time. Ah, the okay, time. okay. Yeah, this is the actual one. So yeah. awesome. That's great, yeah. There we, there we, we move, move on, on to, to the, the 103. Uh, 103. So yeah. this is uh, like the one you saw earlier in, in Waiko, this is actually the Targa with the open uh, uh, front case. And uh, yeah, it's, it's historic milestone in, in 2003 for, for Urwerk. Yeah. And uh, I think if the next piece, I think, is, a, is a, one of the uh, revolving satellite uh, um, complications over here, which is the beginning of the 200 series. Yeah, so this one they call the hammerhead, because mm -hmm. you can see the, the case uh, uh, shape. Which kind of reminds hammerhead you. Shark. Yeah. yeah. Hammerhead exactly shark. Exactly, yeah. the display. Yeah, and. Uh, Amazing. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a cool piece. Yeah. All right. I think we'll move to the opposite yeah, display if case. We, if we come on the, the opposite side over here, there's uh, a one super iconic uh, uh, pocket watch, which is the UR1001. It's uh, a pocket watch that combines uh, uh, many of Urvac's innovations. Okay, they have uh, uh, recreated the, the satellite display. It has a calendar mechanism and it has a super extraordinary indication of their oil change control board, which tells you the service indication for 100 and for 1,000 years. Really? Yeah. <laughs> so this watch, right. that, this watch really meant on to, to last for, for, for generations. For generations, yeah. right. And for people to take it on a journey to, to understand how long has it been wow. in, in operation. Well, yeah. well, beyond generations, <laughs> yeah. beyond civilization, I would yeah. say. Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> really crazy. Yeah. Right. Very crazy, yeah. EMC uh, Time Hunter, yeah. like, like we it's saw the one first of the, gen. yeah, the first gen, one of the, the early early pieces uh, where you, where they invented the artificial intelligence mm. to to measure the, the accuracy of the of the timepiece. Yeah. And of course, not to not to miss out, uh, we will have um, the URCC one, yeah, nicknamed the King Cobra. Okay, which um, if you've been to the Patek Philippe Museum, it's uh, inspired from one of the pieces there, which has an integrated oh, postcode uh, um, case basically, okay. and has this linear time display. Right. So you see the hours on the bottom, the minutes, and then the revolving seconds on the top. That's so. So cool. it's uh, Urwerk reinventing. Uh, one of the timepieces that is uh, not as well known by Patek Philippe, but right. they took it forward and actually made this one of their special projects to further inspire the Triple One C and and uh, way of linear time display. Incredible, incredible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, that's our, our exhibition. All right. So I hope you enjoyed it. I yeah, I did. Really like I did. It. Yeah. So guys, this is just a quick look at the Overt 25th anniversary exhibition being held at Mount Maison by the Hourglass Boutique uh, and Knightsbridge Orchard Road. Thanks so much, Max, for taking Thank us you, through the tour. Yeah. Uh, by the way, when is this open to the public? Now on the uh, 7th of uh, October okay. until the 16th of October. Okay, so, so just in yeah, a couple just of days. Just pop by and we have all our watch specialists here to assist you and, and, and uh, run you through the tour. Yeah. Yeah.